So this is some footage I recorded a couple of days ago. I've just inserted it here. It's me putting together my Christmas friend advent swap yarn or little gifts into my hanging Christmas advent countdown, which I got from Target this year. Uh, my swap friends are Crystal from Crystal Knits, Ali from Fiberbound, and Mel from Three Cats Yarn, and we all prepared a few days each. This is the only decorations I've got up this year so far. It's my advent calendar, and this has just reminded me I have footage to include. So, our first advents are from Crystal of Crystal Knits, and she actually got us all, we're in my wardrobe, P.S., um, a project bag here from Bonnie Maybell Makes. It's one of those ones where you hang it over your arm, like if you were walking or knitting. Um, so in here was some extra goodies, some candy canes, um, and I think this one, yeah, this was from Crystal. A little, um, a little notepad. I finally got him to sleep on, well, I transferred him from my lap to the bed. This is a new bed, it's bought big enough so that Isabeau, his sister, when she arrives, will be able to share with him because the other bed is quite little. And so far he's been very resistant, but today we have, uh, we've got him on. It's a good day. Hello, happy Vlogmas. My name is Madeline. You found your way to Blogmas 2022 for the Mad About You YouTube channel. I use she and her pronouns and I come to you today on the land of the Cubby Cubby people of the Sunshine Coast and I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. It's Vlogmas. Um, yeah, I was not going to do this at all this year and then um, as I do every year I have a existential-ish crisis and then um, decide to do it. So here we are. Uh, unfortunately, there's no decorating for Christmas this year. I have a brand new cat, uh, kitten, Finn, um, and I also have um, a few things going on inside my house and it's just not feasible to decorate. So I'm really upset. I'm a bit devastated about that. I might try and like decorate my bedroom a little bit, um, but I just can't um, do that until next week, which is like halfway through December. I mean, the first week of December. Um, so today has been a pretty boring day. Um, school in Queensland finishes um, either this Friday or um, independent schools and religious schools in next Friday for um, government schools. I work in the um, private sector um, and I'm doing relief teaching at the moment. So. Um, I worked yesterday and I don't expect to get any work the next two days. So I'm actually doing some work that I have to catch up on for my previous employer. Um, so yeah, logging back onto that system today and giving that a go. So I've got some footage from that. Um, I've had some people through my house today, some real estate agents. I had a um, big inspection. I was clean for that this morning, which you didn't see because I spared you that. Today is Wednesday the 30th of November, 2022. Um, and I'm doing a Stacey Elstone from Stress Needs and my plan is to record today so that tomorrow you either wake up or um, sometime tomorrow there will be a day one of Vlogmas and that way we should have 25 videos um, working our way up to Christmas. Um, I don't have an advent that I purchased this year um, but I will start opening tomorrow an advent that I did a swap that I did with my friends. Um, I'm really excited to walk you through that um, and to see what uh, my friends uh, put together. I don't have any plans to advent knit. I have plans to knit some socks um, to finish hopefully my Pierre shawl. Um, but I was actually contemplating the other day that I might 
Um, I thought I had a copy of it here, but I may have gotten rid of it. Um, bummer. I'm actually thinking, contemplating making the jelly roll blanket. Um, it's by Kay uh, of the Bakery Bears. And what I was actually thinking about doing is using my leftover advents from the last couple of years. Um, so I have some Louis and Lola scraps. I also have um, my 10 grow minis from Mel from Three Cats Yarn. Um, so I thought that might be really interesting for me um, to do that and see how that worked like the last three years worth of admits. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I also really like to crochet some <laughs> again as advent time and I want hexagons, um, but that is probably not going to happen. Um, just things are really hectic. Um, so yeah, we've got some things coming up this, uh, this December. I'm traveling to Melbourne next week. Oh my gosh, for my friend's wedding, I need to finish my bookings for that. I'm going to have a meetup. Uh, we might have a meetup this Saturday uh, um, Yeah, in Brisbane with some knitters. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy Vlogmas. This will probably be the longest video. Oh, I mean, I can say day one. It'll be the longest video. Um, but I'm hoping to keep my little snippets to under 10 minute beach shake because I know there's lots of Vlogmases that lots of people um, want to watch. <laughs> Okay, I think we might end today's video here. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. It's pouring with rain outside, or actually just drizzling now, but it was pouring before. Um, I have started today when I was um, on a conference call for work. I just have the old pattern book, um, or it's like a display folder that I've printed lots of patterns in over the years. And I found one for just a hexagon motif. And to be honest, I think I'd done this a while ago and I'd had some issues. But anyway, what I have done um, is I crocheted two hexagons. These are in my Louis and Lola leftover advents. Um, this was the 2020 advent calendar. This is the, this is the first one and I feel it's a little bit wrong. <laughs> this is the second one, which is much better, more of a hexagon. Um, I obviously, well, not obviously, but I don't remember what color this is, but I just recorded some footage and what I'm going to do is, um, there's between like eight and 10 grams, uh, left of each of these colors. Probably, I think of like 24 of, no, maybe 20 of the 24 minis that I got. Um, and so I think I'm going to crochet, um, at least two. I ended up with about three grams left of that first color and I think that I could probably get one more out of this but um, I think we're just going to give this a go first and then um, this might be my like an advent pattern so what I would do is um, two from every advent calendar that I've got left so I have these ones I've got my 10 gram minis from Mel last year so they might be nice to at some point in time cake them up and then just crochet it took me maybe like 10 or 15 minutes per um hexagon so I think it's achievable not I'm not I'm gonna keep working on my other projects for advent as I planned um but I just want to work through my scraps. I love a crochet blanket. My, you, What you're supposed to do for these is do um, a border row in cream and then seam them together, but I hate doing that. So what I need to do is see if I can find a pattern um, where I can do a white border and then crochet them together. It's just treble crochet. So I kind of need to figure out how I can um, do that 
join as you go not in granny trebles you know like the whatever i can't explain i don't know i don't know um so yeah thank you for joining me today on day one oh well yeah it's day one of the video uh advent actually starts tomorrow so we'll open the advents then um it's interesting to get back into it i've really had nothing exciting happen today um but yeah i've been madeline um i met bell on ravelry mad about you on instagram and um happy december bye